Hey everyone, welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train 12V layout that I'm currently building. This episode is all about cable management. Well, as you can see, I connected all the switches, signals, uh, what else do we have? Uh, re remote controlled uh, decoupling units and a level crossing. So um, I was afraid that it would become one messy thing with all the cables running around, but if you actually bundle them like this, it actually looks pretty nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, about the end result. Um, here's some stuff going on, but probably there will be a backdrop here. So uh, more about that later on also. So I'm now busy with uh, making all the trains run. And of course I run into trouble. And for example, that train over here with the expensive red motor, the motor isn't broken, but the back axle uh, isn't connected to the drive terrain anymore. So it just has now uh, front wheel drive instead of four wheel drive. And that has a lot of troubles. Um, it doesn't get enough traction on the tracks, especially uh, when pulling wagons and when using these rods. Since the back wheels don't turn, uh, these rods won't turn either. So uh, the whole thing gets jammed. So that uh, I'm afraid that needs to be uh, replaced by another motor. It sets me back another 100 uh, euros or so. I tried to open one 12 volt motor once. Uh, it didn't succeed very well. So um, I'm not sure I'm going to try to open it. Um, maybe I can use it as a display model or something like that. But um, once again, this one has been bought on Bricklink. But a uh, long time ago and I've been uh, screwed over because uh, yeah I tested the motor like like you see it here I put 12 volt on it and it ran so I thought like okay great but when you put some uh, friction on the uh, the back wheels they don't turn anymore so uh, thank you Bricklink for that um, it's, it's like more than six months ago so I can't track uh, from whom I've uh, bought this uh, this Lego train set um, once again, this is an issue like you need to check all the electrical parts that they are running very well. And in every application you're going to need them in. Otherwise, uh, you're not sure if they work correctly or not. Like I encountered the problem. Um, so basically that's, that's it for now. Um, have you seen my little castle scene here? Uh, I, I'd like to do something with uh, with castle theme and I had some space left so I thought like okay I'm gonna build a, a crawl down uh, a part of a city wall or something like that so uh, there's also some lighting of course um, yeah that's it for now so I'm busy making the whole thing run and uh, a few train trains are already running a few trains are not and um, yeah that takes time so I'm busy with that and once I have the whole thing running I'm going to shoot another video and uh, show you some running trains. I'm going to not show you everything of course because uh, that'll spoil the whole thing uh, with the, uh, the end video. But um, you're going to see some running trains in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so and you want to know uh, what's going to happen next. Oh yeah, what's going to happen next also is that um, I'm working on a backdrop right now. I'm going to use a similar backdrop from the uh, 7777 Lego Train Ideas book from the 80s. It's uh, with the blue sky and um, green hills. For that I need uh, high resolution uh, images, something uh, that you see here. Because what I'm going to do is it's going to be 120 centimeters tall. And the one in the back will be 250 centimeters across. And the ones on the sides will be 2 meters across. So um, I, when I shoot like this, you see this angle with the backdrops here. And when I shoot the other way around, like that, um, the center one needs to be replaced to here. And the, the ones on the side just have to be moved to here. And then you got a uh, backdrop also from this point of view. 
So um, I'm working on that. So um, so I have someone who's going to do the uh, the graphical part, the uh, the high resolution images. Um, of course, I need to pay him for that, but um, I'm willing to because I'm gonna use that background also for the, for other projects. I uh, think. I just need to find a way to divide the panels of the background because I need to store them somewhere. For example, in that corner next to the closet where there are a lot of empty Lego boxes right now. <laughs> so uh, maybe I can store them there. Um, I'll just have to see. I, I, I have to figure it out. First thing is I need high resolution files and those are being produced as we speak. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. Um, to see the end result. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Oh yeah, one more thing, uh, also from the 777 Ideas book. I've color coded every switch and every signal. So I know when I'm over here controlling the whole thing, I know uh, which switch belongs to which remote control, which is nice. Otherwise you, you, you just uh, lose uh, oversight of it. Um, all right, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.